What are you doing here? Before you came into my life, it was set on a course so dull, so conventional, so unrewarding, that it would have been better if I had not lived at all. I'm sure that is not entirely true. You've opened up a world for me. A world of new and exciting possibilities. Well, I'm glad of that. I see it as my life's work to open up a world of exciting possibilities. And you've helped me to realise that a life in which you deny your desires is no kind of life at all. I'm not sure, no, you mean. When I was ill, I lay in my bed and I made myself a promise. If I lived, I would henceforth act on my desires. There'll be no turning back. Good. Good. You've pledged yourself to me. We're as good as engaged. How could there possibly be any shame in it? Stand on a chair and declaim, or just something more informal? Just read it. You have been mine before. How long ago? I may not know. It's a little distracting to the poet, if you don't mind me saying so. Just read it. But when, at the swallow saw, your neck turned so, some veil did fall, I knew it all of yore. Then now, perchance again, around mine eyes your tresses shake, shall we not lie as we have lain, thus for love's sake, and sleep, and wake, yet never break the chain? 